Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on managing Cisco devices. This lesson focuses on Layer 2 switching. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the aspects of collision and broadcast domains, explain switch management, configure and verify port security. Let us start with collision domains. A collision domain is a network segment where devices share the bandwidth. A hub is a layer one device. This means it does not use any addressing logic. A hub broadcasts all frames. It sends all frames to all devices it is attached to. All the frames sent to a device attached to a hub are received by all devices attached to the hub. The receiving device checks if the frame is addressed to its MAC address. If it is not, the device discards it. All the links attached to a hub form one collision domain. The topology on the right circles the collision domains. You can see that the hub and all the devices attached to it are in one collision domain. In contrast, the connection between the switch and the router is in its own collision domain. In the next slide, let us focus on collision domain switch. Each router interface is in a different subnet. This is the same as a broadcast domain. Each layer 3 multi-layer switch VLAN also defines a broadcast domain. Any layer 3 entity bounds a broadcast domain. Note in the topology how the router interfaces divide the network into more broadcast domains. Basically, a broadcast domain is a subnet. As a result, there is a broadcast address in each subnet. In the following slide, let us discuss the considerations for collision and broadcast domains. A switch normally does not have an on or off switch. To turn it on, you need to connect the power cord to an electrical socket. The power on self test post runs. If it is successful, the system LED turns green, and if not, the system LED turns amber. Once powered up, use the mode button, normally located on the left front of the switch, to successively look through the status of the various ports. When an interface is physically connected to another device, the interface light turns on, becomes amber, and if successful, becomes green. If two switches are linked, power up time is 50 seconds, the time it takes for STP to converge. A switch normally needs no configuration to operate as a layer 2 device. In the next slide, let us discuss switch management. 